That's why I'd like to thank the teachers for their hard work, my family for pushing me to strive for excellence, and most of all my parents that help when I need it, or stay up until midnight to help with a project or an algebra set. Thank you. I'd also like to say my two years at Casey have been one of the best times in my life. Thank you. Over the past two years, I have learned many things. I have learned that as we grow older, the events surrounding us become more important as we shape the mold that will soon be the rest of our lives. I have learned the value of family and friends, a never-ending battle, but one with sweet rewards. To my classmates, I thank you for sharing the past two years with me, and I will always remember Casey with fondness. A wise man once said, Life is what happens while we are busy making other plans. Though we cannot be sure of our future, I also remind you that the same man said that ultimately we will all shine on. Thank you again, and I wish you all the best in the future. Good morning. Congratulations, class of 2000. Guys, we're almost done. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for these two unbelievable years. They would not have been what they were without each and every one of you. I have gotten to know the majority of you, and I consider myself very lucky for this. I do not regret anything that has happened in these two years except not being able to get to know all of you. I hope that we will stay friends and grow even closer as we embark on this new chapter in our lives. Two years ago, we were scared seventh graders. Casey seemed like this brick wall in the road of our academic careers. Well, two years have flown by. Just as we were getting the hang of things, we are faced with an even bigger and scarier wall, high school. But just like these two years, high school score years will also fly by. I want to thank the teachers and staff for giving us what we need to be successful in high school and life. Sana Hasib, Sarah Hinman, Brennan Klein, Michael Lynch, Abba Oza, Arthur Soto, Dana Steele. Again, these students standing before you have earned an A in every course for every quarter during the past two years. Such achievement does not come by luck or through accidents. This achievement is the result of a variety of positive attributes, such as good work habits, dependability, persistence, good attendance, and continued efforts to make learning a top priority in each of their lives. I'm convinced that the parents of these students have been extremely instrumental in their academic achievement. Um, we gather here together for this graduation ceremony. I'm almost ready to call it a celebration because we're celebrating many accomplishments and some wonderful children, students here, and all the nine years of uh, commitment that they've made to education. I hope each of you, as you leave here today, will take time to make a promise to, uh, to, to really uh, show your appreciation and congratulate uh, some of these students, many of these students. But also, as you leave here today, why don't you make a point to also share the good news that we have some wonderful things happening in education, and these children are going to make wonderful contributions to our community and our society. So uh, do help me with that and get a message out. Again, allow me to extend to each of you a welcome to this uh, graduation celebration, uh, the Casey Middle School Class of 2000. I'm very proud of each of these young people that are out before us here this morning. And today kind of marks their official graduation from the elementary school education part of their life. To the parents, I say to each of you, thanks for your support and thanks for your partnership. Because without that, it becomes very difficult to uh, provide a quality education for students. And we need that assistance. Together, we indeed can make a difference for our children in this community. To the staff, and when I say to the staff, many of those people are not here today, but I want to uh, show my appreciation for the kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade staff members that had a role to play in the education of these children. Those people have spent a lot of hours and a lot of wonderful times with the children in front of us, the students in front of us today, in helping prepare them for this graduation. Would you do me a favor? 
and also show your appreciation for even for those that are not here with us, all the staff that have had a role and a contribution in the education of this group, please. students, uh, let me say again, congratulations, you have accomplished a milestone in your life, or maybe I should appropriately call that a stepping stone. <coughs> you know, life is full of a lot of stepping stones, and uh, my hope is that you will be successful as you move from one stepping stone to another, and I'm sure you will. I wish you well as you go on to high school, and challenge you to seek success <coughs> as you move to the next stepping stone in your education career. Real quickly, I would like to just give you four key insights into life, or maybe I'll better be better for me to call them lessons of life, as my gift to you for today upon graduation. First of all, learn to live. Three words, learn to live. And I'm talking about live in such a way that you advance yourself and you also advance others make contributions to your world. Second, never stop learning. Never stop learning. You know, the world ahead for you folks is going to be extremely exciting, but it's going to be filled with a lot of challenges. And as you continue to learn, you'll be able to meet those challenges. So never stop learning. Third, focus on what you want and where you want to go. Don't be afraid to set high goals. You've accomplished a goal today of graduating here from the 8th grade. Don't be afraid to set high goals. Know where you want to go and what you want in life. And fourth, but indeed not least, is be grateful. Be grateful for all the things that life is bringing to you. Appreciate every minute that you are given to live on this earth and make the best of it. And take time out to show your appreciation to those that have helped you along the way in this journey that we call life. That includes mom and dad and friends and brothers and sisters and members of the school family community here. So make sure that you are grateful for those things that come along. Those are the four lessons that I would share with you of life and hope that you would embrace those as you move on. Finally, let me say thanks to you for letting us be a part of your life, letting us be a major part of your life. We've enjoyed it. We've appreciated having that opportunity. And at this time, we'd like to extend to you our best wishes for much success as you move on to the next chapters in the life that you have ahead of you. Thank you very much. Best wishes. And good luck. of diplomas, I would like to make a few additional comments. Gowler Video Productions is videotaping the entire ceremony. If you desire to order a videotape and have not yet done so, you may do so here in the gym after the ceremony. Also, Mr. Doug Croshen, School Board President, will be available here in the gym after the ceremony for diploma presentation reenactments for additional picture taking if you desire. So as not to interrupt the flow of the ceremony or obstruct the view of others, we are requesting that you wait until after the ceremony to do any picture taking from the floor. Cobell Valedictorians will be presented a plaque as they receive their diploma. Please hold your applause and other forms of recognition until all of the students have received their diplomas and the last graduate has returned to her seat. Billy Dean Dobson. Ty Daring Valedictorian. Michael Dwayne Dogan. Danielle Nicole Dudley. Joseph Clement Easton. 
Brent David Edwards. Derez Montre Edwards. Jessica Nicole Edwards. Trevor Heath Elliston. Mark Stephen Fitzpatrick, Jr. Stephen Todd Fleming. Megan Ray Gady. Andrew William Gerstenecker. Aaron Devon Gladney. Stephanie Nicole Geckner. Tristica Shantae Gordon. Jessica Lane Crafton. Carrie Lynn Graham. Jerichus Montez Gray. Malia L. Green. Courtney Paul Gwynn. Jennifer Lindsay Hackman. Anne Marie Hammock. Kayla Marie Hannigan. James Michael Harris. Donna Hasib, valedictorian. Alicia Ray Hayes. Charity Lynn Peck. <coughs> Carnesia Tava Henderson. Brandon Oglesby Hensley. Dustin Charles Herr. Talia Joe Hyatt. Sarah Elizabeth Hinman, valedictorian. Daniel Adam Hood. Amber Marie Hudson. Valerie Ann Hofstetler. William Levi Huey. Jordan Tyler Hyatt. Jennifer Marie Ireland. Randall Niles Irwin. Katasha Lynn James. Sarah Joe Jordan. Brenda Alberta Johnson. Michelle Lynn Johnston. Rashida Lee Jones. Miles Cody Karcher. Amber Marie Kaufman. Rodney Lester Keck. Stephanie Kristen Kessinger. Deborah J.A. King. Kristen Denise Kirk. Brennan Christopher Klein, valedictorian. Will the first two rows to my right please stand?
Craig Allen Cook. Darren Scott Kostecki. Kara Lynn Larkin. Brian Edward Lawson, Jr. Christina Marie Lawson. Amanda K. Lee. Stephanie Diane Leffler. Michelle Nicole Lorimore. William George Lund. Deborah Lynn Lutonen. Michael Robert Lynch, valedictorian. Crystal Renee Mathias. Brittany Danae Maurer. Travis Jeffrey May. Jason Michael McClintock. Christina Maria Roman. Jessica Joe Rout Duckworth. Rachel Jane Rout Duckworth. Brittany Lee Schmidt. Jerome Dylan Schoenfeld. Christine Michelle Seibert. Kevin Thompson Sharp. Brandon Dwayne Shehorn. Lorenda May Shelton. Joshua L. Slininger. Joshua Caleb Smith. Joshua Ray Snow. Arthur Daniel Soto, valedictorian. Laura Ann Spicuza. Timothy Paul Sprinkle. Dana Sue Steele, valedictorian. Tara Marie Talbert. Matthew Lee Perry. Pally, I'm sorry. Amy Elizabeth Taylor. Leticia Suresh Taylor. Taiwan Pierre Taylor. Justin Keith Thompson. Ryan Timmons. Champagne Lakia Turner. Craig Ray Waller. Robert Allen Warren. Alicia Washington. Karaz Rakesha Watkins. Tanisha Sue Lynn Webb. Lanika L. White. Pierre Tyrese White. Jason Kendall Whitfield. Amanda Ellen Wilcox. Eric Allen Williams. Stacy Ann Wright. Shakar Andean Young. 
Takara Antoinette Young. It is now my great and distinct pleasure and honor to introduce to you the 2000 graduating class of Casey Middle School. Valedictorian Sean Anderson, Dana Steele, Arthur Soto, Michael Lynch, and Ty Daring will make some closing remarks to you. Before they come forward, I would like to request that you remain seated until all of the graduates have exited the gymnasium. During the recessional, the graduates will be moving through the gym lobby and into the lower floor of the main building. Once in the lower floor, they will be exiting the east end of the building. Once outside, they may re-enter the gym for picture taking if desired. Go easy! Um, I just want to say thanks to all my friends and family that made my becoming valid train possible. Um, it's been a long few years and a lot's happened. I think it's safe to say that this class is ready for high school. So to the rest of my classmates, good luck in high school and in your future. Hello, my name is Dana Steele. When I entered Casey, I had heard it was scary and it was going to be the worst two years of my life. Well, that person was wrong because Casey was enjoyable and filled with many long-lasting memories. Although we have all had our problems, teachers, friends, and family have always been there to help us and I would like to thank you for that. Now that we have graduated and begin to mature into young men and women, I hope we can all stay together as friends and accomplish goals we have set for ourselves. I believe the Casey Middle School graduating class of 2000 will be very successful and we will all become independent, responsible adults. Thank you for coming and sharing this time with us. Hi. I'd just like to say that I've had a pretty good time here at Casey. I was fortunate enough to have friends and family uh, that helped me through my ups and downs the past couple of years. I also had good teachers who wouldn't let me mess around year and let my grades fall. I really think my classmates and I are ready for hot uh, and four successful years of high school. Thank you and good luck class. We made it man. <laughs> back on my two years at Casey, I can think of some good times and some bad times, but mostly good times. During my time here, I faced many challenges, but with the help of teachers and students, I was able to overcome them. Thanks, guys. Uh, it's bittersweet to be graduating, but it's time to move on to bigger and better things. I know that all good things must come to an end, just like this speech. Thank you. <laughs> Trill of the whistle echoed through the gym. Looking across the black field marked floor, I could see the young beardless coach pointing his long index finger directly at me. Jump ball. A large lump of hair clogged midway down my throat. My large blue eyes became even larger before my sweat glands began to work in full force. My head swiveled right to view my opponent. Her beautiful gleaming white teeth could probably have been seen in the dark, they were so bright. She was of basketball height, six feet, with a body made perfectly for the game. I, so my brother had said, am a dwarf compared to my peers, or even those younger. The booming laughter of 
My classmates amplified down the hall hallway halls into the studio's classrooms where others came to see the commotion. commotion. I could feel the sizzling heat of embarrassment crawl slowly up my neck to reach the tip of my veins. There is no competition, the dwarf versus the giant. With humiliation roaring in my ears, I went to the center of the floor where the giant stood with a left-sided smirk on her face, knowing she had an easy tip as the top of my brown head came below her chest. With nervous anticipation, I waited for the toss-up. This is a scene from my mother's past. She, like the members of our class, had faced and overcame many obstacles during the middle school years. From the moment we walked in the building, challenges awaited us. What made us the students we are today is what we did with those challenges. For example, there are those of us with the low self-esteem, the loser type attitude, who said we have faults, imperfections, and stupidities, and we're stuck with them. Or said we'd rather be someone else. Sadly, I was once among this crowd. I wanted to be someone else, but I, I thought I couldn't get rid of my flaws. However, this attitude didn't last for long. At Casey, I met friends, teachers, and other people who helped me accept who I was and build on my self-esteem. This turned my attitude into that of a winner, being glad that I was myself, and began saying, I see myself changing, growing, achieving, and winning. Now, instead of setting limits, we set goals. Instead of looking at our faults, we look at our talents. Some of us may look like perfectionists to others, but I think, what's wrong with being trying to be the best you can be? We overcame those challenges set for us when we entered Casey, and now we set our own. A couple of times we may have slipped back to our loser coatings, climbing back down the self-esteem ladder when the challenges seemed too tough. But although they were difficult, going through these challenges have, has been a wonderful experience, strengthening our self-esteem and overall making us better people. I close this morning telling you what happened when my mother rose to the challenge of facing the giant. At that point, everything became slow motion. The coach's large palm called out the Wilson ball. The, with the whistle held between his lips like a classic dill pickle, he nodded his sun blonde head at both of us before he gave a quick upward toss. The ball of the dirty socks smell spun over both our heads. The giant size 10 feet stood firmly planted on the floor with an arm barely raised, showing no effort. Then spontaneously, impulsively, my left hand came up to grasp the giant's raised hand as the muscles in my legs forced my body to reach the heavens while my right hand reached for the moon. My short, almost stubby fingers touched the ball. I tipped. As my Nikes touched the floor, anxiety settled in the pit of my stomach. Turning toward the coach, I knew I was in deep trouble. Why had I clutched the giant's arm? My timid eyes involuntarily drew to the coach. With hands on thighs, his fit body was doubled over in mirth. Deafening, erupting laughter was heard as he motioned with his hand for all to continue the game. My own gleaming smile could, could have probably lighted the whole room. Yep, <coughs> the dwarf versus the giant. There was no competition. I challenge you now to continue your hard work and determination through your high school years.